Are we on? Are we here? Hey y'all, it's your favorite SD slash bestie talk. Yeah. Um, and today I'm back with a video. Duh girl, we see you recording the video. Don't get beside yourselves. But I'm back and I'm here because we always got something new. My brain is always going um two million miles per minute. Let's chop that down. Second. Um, and so, I gotta get it out. This this has to come about because it's been in like, it's probably been a year since I've been plotting and just writing the scripts of these little, you know, this idea that I'm here with or whatever the case may be. But enough with the rant, enough with the chain. Y'all know I know how to do that. Um, but you guys, I'm here with a segment. Hold on, because I heard the head in the back. Are you are you gonna keep up with it? Mind your business. Mind your business. You're coming for me, and I ain't even sent for you. Duh. Like, especially if I get this right here put out. If I put this out, if I put this out right here, I'ma have no choice but to keep on doing it because I'm a Virgo and I just can't have ass do shiz naive or whatever the case may be. So yeah. Come for someone else, not me. Okay? But, you guys, I'm here with a segment for skin. Because, oh, you know, skin is always the fucking thing. Okay? Okay. And the name of my segment is... <laughs> Skintology. Like, isn't it so cute? Skintology, like you guys get to know everything about skin, but I'm a teacher, y'all, and so I'm a teacher y'all in my lingo and the way I had to break it down for me to remember. And I ain't gonna say I gotta dumb things down, but we're gonna have to simple flaw that. I, I can't take stuff being too critical, or too tedious. I, I can't, I just can't do that. So y'all get to learn about all the good things of skin. Um, for free, duh, and for me, duh, even better, like, it's like a double fucking way me on. Okay, I'm done playing. It's starting to seem like too much personality. Squeeze me. But, alright, you guys, so, as I stated, Skintology will be coming to my Instagram and to my YouTube channel. I'm going to post clippings on my Instagram. And you guys can, of course, catch the rest on my YouTube. Okay? Because we want to start building it. I'm sorry, y'all. It's the hair for me. Or is the skin? Both of them. Okay, so, give y'all a little rundown of what it is. Um, Skintology is where top builds your knowledge on skin with 15 to 30 minute segments now y'all i had to give myself you know i want it to be 15 minutes but as of i'm doing right now i just get the chattering and just keep on chatting and because i'm talking to a camera you know that should probably mean i should talk less no you guys i talk to myself so i think it's just gonna help me talk more because just i get to see myself i'm just hyping myself that i'm fucking seeing my skin yeah you see too much Bring it back. Okay. It's 15 to 30 minute segments that Ta is bringing to you guys to help you build your knowledge on skin. Okay. Um, and this here is the motherfucking intro. And hey y'all. So, um, duh. First thing on my checklist is name. If y'all don't know my name, we have a problem. But we can still be friends. My name is Ty. And that's just that. Don't ask for my real name. My name is Ty. 
and that's just that. Um, the name of my business, Sis, <laughs> plural baby, is um, The Butterfly Effect, which is my aesthetic business, which where I give um, skin and beauty services. And um, my second business is a, beauty, a cosmetic beauty business where I hand make lippity gloss, I sell her, and I hand make skin products. Duh, cause like, why wouldn't I? Our natural is all the way in, like, oh, it's the glow. Please excuse Yeah, y'all, the battery wanted to die. Right. Oh, that's how I was saying. Excuse, excuse the children and stuff outside. Like I really hope that y'all can't hear that. I hope y'all can hear me over them. And if y'all can't hear them, y'all better be listening to me and not them. Okay. Pay your attention. What's not clicking, Stephen? Stefan. Um. Chill. Anyways. Okay, so, yeah, we went over my name. We was going over my businesses. So, I'm so bothered that that battery just really died. Cause I, Y'all, that's both of my businesses. How did I come about my businesses? Um, I started my first business, Sister Sister Beauty, in 2020. In the beginning of the year, it was the beginning of the panoramic. Um... I was fired from my previous job. Yeah, they go ahead and snip the sis. They did a sis a roll grind me or whatever. And I still tried to work whatever kissing me. She's not even not working out. So I just took that as a hit from God and said, mm, mm, bitch, you better figure out something. And so I figured out something and I started uh hand making lip gloss. Um and it really started it to be like, you know, really soothing because I was in a dark space, a dark period at that time. So it just became something that I stuck with and as I went more into it, my skin has already always my skin has always been like clean and clear. And so and that's just something I just always took pride in, which is my face, my skin, beauty. Um, I have inspirations or aspirations to be um, a model. I'm my own for a model. Like, you can't tell me I ain't no model. Can post for the pic. Pooh, did y'all get that shot? Right. Deeper and with me already being into beauty and all of that stuff, it made me dive deeper into skin. Um, and at the time, I seen the girl who's the owner of Moon Cosmetics. I seen her um, doing like her rose oil and things of that sort. So it just made me start Googling like, what is this stuff? Uh, what's in it and then google came along with youtube and then all of this stuff so it's just like i'm the type of person where i don't like doing anything unless i have like you know some sort of stain behind me i don't like doing something and it's just like oh i'm doing it because you know i'm doing it no i truly need to find like i truly want to find the ins and outs of something to know if it is something that i genuinely like and something i genuinely want to do um so seeing her make the skin products and doing the research that I was doing on making skin products, it just made me like go deeper and like, damn, I never knew beforehand. I never knew what the name of that person was. I thought she really had to be like, you know, a skin doctor or like a derma, you know, that's called a dermatologist. That's a skin doctor. <laughs> um, what I am, which is an esthetician, is like a skin therapist. Um. I never knew that there was someone under a dermatologist and I never knew that the um, the length of period of school was um, a short amount of time also. So once I found all of that out, it was just like, go ahead, jump the hell right on in and start in school. That opened up a way more broader, um, you know, spectrum of what it is to do in the esthetician field. Um, I honestly just came into it thinking that, you know, I was just going to find out what's good for skin, what's not good for skin, and I was going to make some skin products, and that was going to be that, that was going to be me. But it, it turned out to be so much more, which I'm so thankful for, and I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I'm so happy that I've, one, took the time, and two, um, you know, have the knowledge behind what it is that I speak, and I, and I genuinely grew the care and love for it. So, um... Even with, you know, building client, building clientele, um, having customers not come through, not having any bookings, any appointments and things of that sort, I still stay strong in what it is, 
my businesses are because I am truly passionate about it. I love beauty. I love skin. I love people. Um, I love, you know, motivating others, inspiring others. And that's just everything beauty. And that is me. And I am she. And we are we. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me not give us a muscle. Um, what time is it, y'all? Yeah, so that's how I started both of my businesses. Um, yeah, my hands are truly gifted. So anyone that comes, you know, takes the time and book a service with me, you are genuinely going to feel um, the butterfly effect. It gets real. I'm just that powerful, who? Um, also, while in school, I learned about... Uh, Reiki, I always say it wrong, Reiki, 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 me, I don't freaking know, but the healing, transferring energies, you know, healing one through the energies, the body's energies. Um, I'm also a, a Reiki healer. So that just goes hand in hand and growing up the way I grew up, it's a lot of motherfucking trauma out here in the hood, y'all. It's a lot of trauma. So... I'm going to try to come rest my hand upon the heads and maybe somebody can get it right. You know, I don't mind being a chosen one. I mean, the purpose of this segment is just to build people's knowledge on skin. Um, because going into school, I thought I knew something about skin and, you know, nothing about skin. You really have to watch out for these products that are just over the counter on the shelf. You know, um, different you know, people, a lot of, you know, these companies, they, they just get caught up into selling so much that they don't really, you know, have the proper things inside of their products. And some things in these products could be very damaging to skin and can cause skin cancer, skin diseases, and we don't need none of that. Which is why I hand make all natural skincare, okay? You get the same effects, you're just going to do it naturally. Now, I do have professional products that I use with my aesthetic business, but I am knowledgeable with them and I know how to use them to not harm or damage one's skin. Okay? So, this segment here is just to bring to people who was once like me and, well, you know, people who are what I once was. Ignorant to what the hell to do with my skin. And a lot of people, they don't have that time nor they have the money to, you know, go ahead and invest in um, an esthetician because these services can be um, a little pricey especially if you're getting it done at the right person the right place and at the right time okay don't be going to anybody having them touch on your skin you ain't gonna go to anybody for them to do your hair now are you like I said everything is energy watch who you got touching you but that's just that so yeah I'm bringing now the camera's getting hot absolutely not let me wrap this the hell on up um child I said my business was the topics we're going to cover um, in this segment is sunblock, facial routines, skin types, different problematic skin issues, facial treatments, makeup um, types and makeup application, so on, so on, etc, etc. Y'all, this video wasn't even supposed to be this long, but my camera is getting hot. I'm tired of running into technical difficulties and I already don't know how to work this camera. She's not E, so we're going to clip it here. Here's the intro. Skin Tautology will be coming to you guys. Um, what day did I choose? Thursdays at 8 p.m. beginning in April. Be there or be square. Whore. <laughs> Go ahead and jump on out there and get the rest of us on the right motherfucking track. But, let me bring that back. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot this was the business side. Anyways, chill. Yeah. I don't know where I was at on the last part or whatever the case may be, but I'm going to just start with where my brain is telling me. And we was talking about how I could just talk for so long. That's not what we was talking about. Cut. Never mind. Um, anyways, chill. Like, tell me to record at midnight. 
so much for natural lighting. My <laughs> Welcome y'all. My name is Ty and I live in the ghetto. Like, hey, hey, so noisy. Anymore. <laughs> I need a tip, I need a tip, I need a tip.